Yo, 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 gentlemen, Omega Project Zero here. And I'm gonna be trying out Valheim today. I'm actually trying it out for a second time. The first time I was not recording clearly, but I wanna give it another chance because I was not that into it, but I wanna see since they've done some updates how the game is looking, how it's playing, what's different about it. Um, I want to give it an honest, an honest chance to intrigue me. You know what I'm saying? Because I've heard such good things about this game, and then also like the music and the ambiance is really cool and really nice. And I think it's going to turn out to be a really good game over time. Uh, it's still in early access, but let's see what I can find in this game. Okay. Right now, this is what I've done like in the past. Okay. Uh, I got a little hut built right here. It's kind of shoddy, but it'll work. I got this little workbench down. Um, when you start out, you just go ahead and like fight a few little like guys in the environment, little little uh, monsters and uh, and wildlife. There's like these little goblin guys. I'll show you everything in case you haven't seen it. But for me, this is just about my impressions in the game uh, with you guys because I, you know, clearly didn't record that before, but this time it's me just really wanting to give it an honest shot over again, right? So the skills here, I don't remember if that was there before. And then one issue that I had at the time before was that, and this is not the fault of the game, but uh, I was getting stuck on just what I needed to do next. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, it's just, saying what the heck like okay friendly fire but yeah as far as crafting i'm like dude i want to craft something else and then i kind of just got stuck just wanting to craft more but then i couldn't and i think the last thing that i made was this antler pickaxe so i need to like go use that on some stuff and break uh, some specific like mining some specific rocks and stuff like that let's see here so this is where I've explored. I'll show you some of the world. And as you can see, it's an island. I'm going to head mm, to the north, I think. There might be more monsters there that I have never encountered. And that is the objective of the game, is to explore, find new resources that can allow you to make better items. I mean, just like any other survival crafting game but uh let's see i've been fighting with this spear i'm not that good at with it but i have mixed feelings about the graphics too because i feel like they chose to do the kind of blocky feel um or pixely feel because you know they they actually wanted that which is fine like that's their art style but for me, it's not like my favorite thing. Um, I, my favorite thing is the music. They did a phenomenal job with the music. It's very chill and relaxing. I kind of turned it down just because it was super loud. Breaking the trees down is kind of cool. You know, getting the logs from it. All right, actually I'll turn the music back up a little more because seems like the freaking storm is going hard right now. So effects down, music up a little more. There you go. Hey, oh, it's a little goblin guy. What's up, buddy? Let's see this. Just stab him like that. He's dead. Okay. Damn, the storm is raging. Actually, this is probably the strongest storm I've seen in this game right here. Woo! That's awesome. Okay. Whoa! Who's growling at me? Oh yeah, these little like lizard dudes. So we kill those. They just have some meat on them or whatever. And then I pick it up, right? Neck tail. And then, of course we can eat that or cook it up. I got boar meat, honey. We'll just eat some boar meat, get our health up. Berries are great, but yeah, man, I just got little stuff. Dude, look at the size of these waves, man. Right here on the freaking shore. It's insane. All right, dude, I gotta get away from the storm. It's, it's kind of scaring me. Oh yeah, we've had to kill a bunch of deer. I can use the bow for that. Hey, what are you doing, bro? 
Do I have enough arrows right now? I'm pretty bad with the bow, I'll be honest. I mean, fighting bosses is honestly the highlight of the game as far as I know. But for me, I have only, I think I've only gone against like one and it wasn't too hard. It wasn't too difficult. I'm just trying to get this game to uh, pull me in. Come on, man. Get me excited about something here. Don't just storm me out of the game. Just, just rain me out of here. All right, where are we going? We're heading, I wanna head this way towards this blank area. I think down here I, I used a marker because that's where there was like some metallic stuff, like copper, I think it was. Um, I'm not a fan of having to run all over the place, but I think I might have heard that they were going to make mounts, or, but I might have also just made that up in my head. So I don't want to like go on the record with that because the one thing I was just thinking of, it would be great to have a mount in this game to just run uh, a lot faster. But this is what I kind of just dislike about the game is just running through the forest and then you're kind of just stuck until you find those specific items and resources. Sure, I could build like more buildings, but what's the point if you can't like make bigger things? Dude, chill out with the storm. I actually might have to turn that sound down right now with the effects because it's almost just ridiculous. And that's probably still not gonna make a huge difference. And then Ichthyr down below, Ichthyr is like your special ability or something, right? As far as I remember, that's from killing that one boss. But here we are, I mean, this is honestly what most of the world looks like. It's pretty similar, just like hilly, some trees, and then that's that. So at this time, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through the game a little more but I just wanted to like jump back in and see with you guys. Is it still, is it, um, is it worth playing this game right now, or or is it better to just wait a while longer so that they can add more things to the game? You know, I think that's what's gonna be. I don't know why I just had a like crazy uh, influx in my voice. But I'm gonna go ahead and look in this hut. Sometimes if you find a hut, there'll be. Uh, Maybe a little box in there or something. There's also some skeleton guys around. Okay, did we get any uh, hides? You, that's one thing you want a lot of in this game is a lot of hides. Uh, these are rag pants. What's going on over here? Is the storm's gone over here? Okay, that's kind of nice. We got a frightened wild boar. All right, leather scraps. Oh, I had to hit E. I totally missed the other stuff, didn't I? Oh, hey, what's up, bro? I mean, pretty simple. And, you know, chopping logs is pretty cool. I think just what it is, man, is unfortunately, this was like an awesome idea. Yeah, there's stuff to do, but they just, it's just another victim of, or we're the victims of the early access uh, pump and dump if you will <laughs> it's like get people hype as hell oh it's gonna be awesome they get some great music going they give you something to mess around with for a little bit but then oh what the hell bro it's like a red freaking guy red skelly with two stars and I'm basically dead I gotta run away see I'm about to die but where did that guy come from is my question I gotta eat right now. I can't open my inventory. Yeah, I can. Hurry up, dude. I can't eat more? Are you serious? Why? Oh, shit. Eat. I can't eat more mushrooms. Okay, eat raspberries then. I've never seen one of those guys, actually. I've never seen... Uh, it's a, maybe I have a two-star... Was it a two-star uh, skeleton? But now I gotta actually rest. How do I go ahead and rest? I probably gotta sit down, right? something like that um yeah let me check the setting or the control for that crouch forsaken power yeah i want to use that sit is x so there we go we'll heal up a little bit 
or do I need to be near campfire? I probably need to be near campfire. So that's one thing about the game. Never mind. We're getting we're getting our health back. But I've never actually used that the power, so maybe I should go ahead and try it out. Might be fun. But yeah, we can't craft anything if we don't have the uh, crafting bench. But our weight is pretty good, 300. And this was the trophy that I got from this uh, this boss. All right, let's go check it out over here again. That didn't really help my skill. I mean, that didn't really help too much. I'm still kind of low on health, but I think this has awesome potential. I just don't. Oh, whoa! Look at the layer thing. That might be cool. There's an actual like skeleton layer here. All right, let me try this power. So what does that allow me to do? Oh, I still get wrecked, dude. Wow, I still got wrecked, even though I got the power. I got the power, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, fight him, dude. Do I still get some stuff? Come on, man. Well, I can't really do anything versus this guy. I could block. Maybe if I actually block, I could fight him. Let's see if a blocking will work. Dude, he just wrecked me even when I'm blocking him. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. He, he just ragdolled the shit out of me. Oh my goodness. Wow. Annihilated. Well, can I fight that thing at least when I get killed? Not some red skeleton. Oh man. See, look, and now I'm naked. I don't have shit. Look at that. Deer hide. I mean, there's not much I can make. The stag breaker. That could be cool. Um, but. And then you can upgrade some stuff, right? But. I feel like there's not much I can make. <sighs> it'd be. It'd be good, though, if they showed you, like, other stuff you can make later. And then you can aspire for that. But, like. I feel like they just don't even show you anything. Well. I'm a dead. I'm dead and naked now. So. Wonderful, and we just walked around this whole time. Look at this. I think that's actually the first time I died in the game, so it's pretty funny that, like, right when I started recording, I died. <laughs> but I guess this is going to be the more difficult place to go. And this was part of the beginning, right? I think this is, like, the initial place. Yeah, I read the runestone. And you can play with a few players, uh, a few other people, right? But... It's not just because I died, guys. I was already telling you that I wasn't a fan of the game and I was trying to give it another shot. So it wasn't just because I died that I don't like it. <laughs> but honestly, I, I think this one thing that I have to highlight here for people, and this is not, uh, I'm not telling you guys watching this specifically. It's more just like get it on the record of my thoughts, but like, I think it's a massive problem that all these kind of games that are totally unfinished have like moderately not much content essentially. They have not a lot of content in the game. Now that's pretty cool right there, but when they have not a lot of content, they should not be getting rated up in Steam like I just feel like that's ridiculous and that's that happens so much there's all these like just bullshit games but here's the thing let's be real about this people have to understand this and i don't i don't understand how many people don't get this and don't know this is like common but most of the developers that are trying to make money quickly are buying reviews on steam like people just don't get that man like it is so rampant and it's so common so even when you're like, oh, this seems pretty good, you know, giving a little shot, it's not terrible, it's not awful, but then you just realize that they just half halfway did it and then they're really probably not gonna do much else. I mean, literally I did an update that was a gigabyte or a few gigabytes and then just nothing's different and this kind of disappointing to me. 
Because for me, you know, it's, it's more irritating when I had the game for a period of time and I can't refund it. So now I'm like, obviously stuck with this when I would have got something else. Well, that's my fault for not researching more thoroughly or watching more videos. I don't even know why I'm running to get my corpse. It's just because I, I don't want people to say, you really didn't give this game a chance when I've literally like leveled up and like... You know, made equipment, made a house. None of it really intrigued me. None of it uh, got me excited or I didn't feel a sense of like accomplishment. I was just like, okay, I did that, right? That was it, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and recommend you guys like no one get this game. So that's just me, that's just my thoughts. Why do I don't, why do I not have my equipment right now? And then it says corpse run. Now what is this? There's a dungeon here with a freaking ton of skeletons. Yeah, no, that would be kind of cool. Oh, look, there's a troll. There's a giant. That, that's kind of cool. It's just still not that interesting to me, guys. Like, doesn't do anything for me. But if you haven't bought this game, at least you know not to buy it, you know? Because this is what you'll be doing, just running around with a spear. Blah, blah, blah. Listening, listening to some very nice music that makes you want this game to be more than it is. And like tricks you. And then and then you go and re read a bunch of fake reviews. And then if you ca call out it for, call out the reviews being fake and call out the developer, then you'll get like spam bots like all over your fucking video, man. <laughs> So anyway, here I go. What's over here? The Black Forest. So exciting. Look, a giant one of those other guys. Gray Dwarf Brute. Honestly, I have to say it too. This enemy looks so terrible and really like garbage. I think that that's a, such a bad character model, such a bad monster in the game. Like it just looks like shit. Don't worry, guys. If I sit here and play this for a few more freaking minutes, I'm just gonna start raging. Watch, cause I'm like, I'm like getting myself, I'm like building myself up to just get more irritated with this. Cause you know, man, these guys do this on the regular. This like, just people. Hey, man, let's make a million dollars and make some game, and then prop it up on Steam with fake reviews, and then we just, we just stop do, doing anything on it. And I can't tell you how many times. That they've rinsed and rinsed and repeat repeated that tactic and literally just taken money from everybody. I mean, I don't know how many times or how much money y'all can say you've actually lost to just random pump and dump games where they just make look a copper deposit. Wonderful, you know. But I just got these stupid monsters chasing me. Just run down here and die, dude. Enter. I'm enter naked. A troll cave, you know. Like. I just wish I realized sooner that this freaking game blows, dude. It sucks. I mean... Whoa, I'm in the troll cave. And then fanboys literally just rage every time. If You, you can't critique anything. You can't critique any games because then they're just like... You're a piece of crap for disliking it. You're not allowed to dislike it. Watch, I'm gonna kill a troll just standing here. Look, it's bugged. It can't even move. Okay, it's moving now. But how many, how many, uh... Um, ah, exit. <laughs> he can't even leave, bro. See, that, that in itself is shitty. Look at that. I could just press E, go in there. I mean, what? That's just garbage, bro. And then look, I got 17 health. What? Because I died, I, I have like the lowest health there is. All right, let me rest and then just kill this troll so I can just say I beat the game, you know? Oh man, we gotta, that's one message I wanna convey is to stop giving these scammers a free pass. Mediocrity, this isn't even mediocre. I mean, this is just like, just no, like they put a little effort in for like, a while and then just said all right that's good early access we're done i mean i play a lot of games you guys know the games that i like and i just keep playing them but like 
this is just one I jump into. I show you what it's about and why I don't. I'll explain why I do or I don't like it and why it's just not doing anything for me. Gray Dwarf Eye. And then once I finally make a video on it and, and I accept that I that I really don't like it, I'll just never play it again. Look at this guy. He's going to be like jammed up against there. Oh, wow. He just went back. So now I can wreck him again. Ha oh, ha. What you going to do now? Ooh. My skill's going up. What is this thing there? Oh, my power. Oh, instant kill. <laughs> the gods are merciful, are they? Huh? He just in exploded me, dude. But anyway, this is it. Wish I could like the game. There's no, it's just no feeling of advancement in the game. You know, like this skill thing. Uh, you know, give it a year. Maybe, maybe they'll uh, do something with it and make it interesting. But look at this shit, dude. I mean, I, I'll tell you, I probably put like five hours at least in the game. And then there's just nothing here. I can't do anything. I had... A lot of items that I got, I made an antler pickaxe, and it's like, oh, then I can break some ro some real rocks and run even farther. I'm done. The game's a piece of shit, all right? I don't like it. I tried, I gave it a chance, and I'm done, all right? Don't make me play this piece of shit ever again. I did it to myself, all right? Hope you guys have a great one. If you're a fanboy of this game, make sure you dislike my video because you're a little softy little pussy, okay? So be mad. The game sucks ass. All right. You guys have a great one. Later, everybody.